How y'all doing? We're going to get ready to mix up some barbecue sauce. This here is my house bold sauce. It's pretty thick. It's pretty good stuff. But it's real thick. So we, It's bold, but around here we kind of call it the icky sticky. Because boy, it is sticky. And then this here... Is what we've been calling a 4th of July sauce. Get a look at that. It's a little bit thinner. It's not as dark. You can kind of tell the color there. It's not as dark. And it's a little bit thinner. Moves a lot smoother. Mix them together. I'm gonna mix them together because I think they I think together they have a really good flavor. But we're also going to do something else. Uh, you can see how thick that other sauce is, that bold is. Boy, that's some thick stuff. It really grabs a hold of whatever you put it on. I put it on the last uh, 15, 20 minutes. I'm not going to bore you all with too much. In the last few minutes of the conversation, I'm just going to grab a quick little barbecue brush here. And then we're going to take a few of these items out here and we're going to, we're going to do a little rub down. And then we're going to come back in here and get some cheese to put, to sprinkle on the tops of our pepper. Man. How does that look, guys? They look fantastic, I like to say the least, and they smell even better. So we're going to put a little barbecue right here on top of them. Oh man, I cannot wait to have that. Put a little barbecue right there on top. Alright, if I over, I, I ain't trying to, because we're actually going to smother them. So, the point is, is I want to actually get it all over, but I want a nice little right on top there. Same with this onion right here. Probably move the onion to the back, huh? What do you think? Maybe, maybe not. I, mean, I don't know. Don't know. I don't know either. I kind of like it where it is. Put I mean, a little that cheese on this stuff. Just fantastic. Oh yeah, they're gonna be delicious. If they ain't delicious, well, I'm gonna let you and Mom make them next time. How's that? All right. Cause I, I pride myself on my barbecue. How this whole channel is about my barbecue. So if it ain't no good. It ain't no good. Nothing I can do about it. I think these are the one I want. These are the one I want most. Now those are going to get some barbecue sauce too. And on top. Look at that. Probably didn't put enough stuffing in that one. It should be overflowing. No big deal. What we're going to do is we're just going to rub this bacon down right here, just like this. Get down in there. Not too worried about the bottoms. I just want to get the sides, the top. And it's going to be tough getting in between here. But as packed as this, I got this grill. It is going to be tough, that's for sure. But I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be as good as we've been describing it, right here. But we're just gonna barbecue the nuts out of this thing. So that's why I brought this out here, cause I've been running a little bit low. 
So this is why I need y'all's help on my GoFundMe page. So I can actually get labels from my sauce. And actual bottles and stuff. For one. For two. We can keep on creating it and actually get it out there to y'all. So y'all can try this stuff. I'm telling you, this stuff is delicious. You ain't gonna have another... It's free and high corn fructose syrup. All those extra chemicals and crap preservatives you get from other main brand sauces. And you're supporting a young entrepreneur, small business with a family. It's actually my son that's videotaping this, so give him a hand. Sorry guys, I dropped the pepper. Trying to sauce it down. Well, she's right, that's for sure. The sauce was. A... See if I can work around it a little bit. I want to get it all over. This pepper right here is doing the same thing. It's fry up as heck. It's okay. Just get a little bit of that on there. Get on the back side here. Uh-huh. It's okay if we get it on that plate. I got some non-stick good stuff on there. These right here are probably going to be the hardest because they're just the flimsiest. Being what they are, I don't have them on their sides. I didn't cut them open. We decided to shotgun them. Shotgun them means full barrel. I'm not going to worry too much about this little piece of bacon that dropped down there. Like T said, this is going to be delicious. Just let that rest right there on top. Kind of use that as another food glue. Didn't we use that the other night? That terminology? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. During our sandwiches. With some cheese. Yeah, we sure did, didn't we? Food glue. Well, you know what? Makes another good food glue. Barbecue sauce. Kind of puts it all together. Makes it just absolutely delicious. Almost unbearably delicious. And again, it doesn't take much. Don't get don't get too much of a hurry. We're just going to soak these bad boys up. I got a few more to do. I may run out of sauce before I get them done, but that's okay. It just means I had a lot of food on the barrel, on the grill. Your bacon's falling apart. Just, you know what? Rub the pepper down. Stick the bacon back to it. Rub the bacon down. It's just gonna make it just that much more good. Rub that pepper down like that. Try to stick that. Try to stick that bacon to it. Just like that right there. I'm gonna put it over here. Now why would I do that? Well, because, hey, Beast come out here check out what all this motion is about. Because I want to keep that bacon kind of tied up for now, and I'm going to need to get around this other one anyways, so. Sorry, I can't get a full shot of all the details of me working over here. It's about boring all of my, all of our potential fans and viewers, but and don't be scared to take a little off the top so you don't need that much barbecue on those tops. I put those on there as a safeguard in case I ran out. That's what those are there for. And they really kind of get down into it. You want to just barbecue and just slather that on there. 
You know what I'm saying? Make sure that little bomb there gets cut up. Now, you're out. Mm. I know a chef shouldn't do that, but when is my sauce? All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna take this back because being right where it's at, it's gonna throw off the temperature. I'm gonna put that little piece of bacon that's dropping. Put it right there. Kind of almost even with that one. Whew. Temperature dropped. We're gonna go turn it up. We're gonna actually use this time because we're gonna come right back out here in a minute. I'm gonna take these goodies back in the house because we're done with them. Put them in the fridge. These goodies, put them in the fridge. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get us some cheeses. Some of it's gonna be cheddar. Some of it's gonna be mozzarella. Tristan's going for the jalapenos, huh? Huh? I said you're going for the jal jalapenos, huh? Oh yeah. Which kind of cheese you want? Which one of these you want? Well, I don't know. I don't care. It's one of them. At least. Can't put too much cheese on there. We're just going to top them. We're not put too much. This one right here, we can put a little bit extra in there. Just because I guess it kind of do what it do. That's going to cook down too, but it's hard to control cheese, guys. Can you get cheese controlled? Message me and... <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit over here. Like I said, we ain't gotta do much. This is more of a you're not gonna get a full flavor deck, you know, on a little cheese. It's kind of more of a decoration. But it does add a little bit. A little bit extra to it. We didn't have much cheddar anyway, that's why I put it over here. You know what, we're just going to go ahead and put the rest of that cheddar right there. I guess that's how you control a cheese. You just got to have enough space to put around. <laughs> mozzarella, we're going to put a little bit of mozzarella on each one of these bad boys. Try not to make a mess on my grill. Cheese makes a mess, boy, let me tell you. Especially when it's on an electric grill. But we're just going to put a little bit for each one. Especially when you get down to the powder. Well, that's our barbecue and cheese escapade on our, we probably wasted a little bit, but that's fine. We're gonna go ahead and close it on down. I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit to bring the temperature back up to, back up to speed. Throw these packages away, we don't need these anymore. They're all out of cheese. Uh, we're gonna wait for those to cook. We're gonna have to uh, 
basically either cut this video, make it a part two video of saucing them down and putting the cheese on them, and letting y'all kind of see how they look in the middle uh, between uh, from the time when we started to the time we finished. Remember, you can check me out on GoFundMe uh, and Twitter at Reno's Barbecue. Uh, and I'll catch y'all on the flip side.